Hello. Hi, MB. <laughs> hey, John. What's up, Josh? Hey, Ed. I don't know if you guys are back yet. Hello, and welcome to my homesteading and Lola. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll let a few come in. It's one of those weird days. I'm not sure about this time yet. Because I saw one of my friends went live about 15 or 20 minutes ago. And I'm like, oh, darn it. Because I had it scheduled. But we have different people that come into our lives. So we'll see. Come into our lives. That's interesting. How are you, Josh? Hey, Big Joe. Lola, stop. Hey. Hey. I'm going to be throwing stuff at Lola. I can already tell. Lola. How's everybody doing? Hey, Bobcat. Did you go hunting today? Hey, Miss Cecilia, if you're still here. I don't think she's still here, John. I think she left. And Gio. Gio. I'm good. Bored. Bored. Or bored. <laughs> or a little bored. Hey, Raymond. Big hugs. <laughs> hey, Ed. Yeah, we're a little bored. A little bit bored. I went to the grocery store today to get some snacks and stuff. But for those of you that don't know, my husband had surgery, so he's kind of down. And so I don't know why I'm bored. He's more bored than me. Hi, Miss Christina. He just has to lay there with his leg up. So I feel bad for him that he has to do that. But Lola, please don't make me throw things at you. Okay? Thank you. God. Hey, Mills. Oh, cool. That's cool, Andy. Just sort of watching as I do homework. Oh, this is kind of homework, kind of, sort of. She probably did most of it. Hi, Miss Lisa. Good. I'm just bored. I was bored today and yesterday. And I have plenty to do. It's not like I don't have stuff to do. You know, I just, you know that when you just get bored. I have no idea what that is. Hi, Crypto. Oh, thanks. Which one? The one in the beach? That's a Waisaki study. Charles Waisaki. Root Beer Beach. That's what's called Root Beer Beach. It went well, Christina. It went really well. It was a really good, easy surgery. Everything went great. And he's just, you know, I mean, he's going to be down for several days until all the swelling goes down because they pump it full of Novocaine and fluid. And before they go in there, hey, fishy on. It's okay, Lola. And Lola's very sad because she can't go in there. She can't go in the room. Hi, Line Cook. Hi, Thomas Schmidt. Lola, come back. We have a gate up there because if she she's so big. If she pounces on him, she's going to hurt him. Yeah, me too. I'm glad it did too. Hi, Lonnie. Got an Insta for day. Live, 8.30 Central Standard Time, tomorrow, in case anybody didn't know. <laughs> I think. <laughs> he can confirm that, but yeah, scheduled for tomorrow. Hey, Coons. How's everybody doing? So, um, I usually wait like five minutes or so. Well, look in there. See, she just stands at that gate and whines. Come here, baby. Just stay in here with me. Lay down. Um, hi, Farmstead Smith. We are fabulous. Come here. Hi, Illegal. Thank you. Love you, too. Illegal, the broken outdoorsman. <laughs> I swear. Since I have known Illegal Outdoorsman, I know he's been hurt at least twice if not three times. So the first time he breaks his foot, somebody pitches a 
a horseshoe. Oh, M pitched a horseshoe. Hi, Amanda. Hi, one time. <laughs> Amanda pitches a horse, or not Amanda. M pitches a horseshoe and gets seen. Then this time he breaks his thumb. Big, huge cast thing on his arm. What else has happened in the past year? Tell me. <laughs> no more, you, you're not allowed to climb in a deer stand. <laughs> you're banned. <laughs> Lola. Lola, come back. Lola. Come here. Uh-uh, don't you even. Pete, there's Pete. Can somebody share illegals? Uh, one of the mods share illegals link to his channel, please, for giving me that beautiful super chat. And thank you. No, everybody's getting hurt. What the heck? <laughs> Who else got hurt? Oh, Hawk Wrangler. Hawk Wrangler got hurt, too. I don't know if he's in here. Hey, Ro. <laughs> Lots of really good channels in here. I know everyone in the chat for a while. <laughs> yeah, John, are you done? <laughs> hey, Ricky. What's up? Ricky's Creations is amazing if nobody knows him a few people i don't have too many fishing channels in here right now but chunky catfishing i love chunky catfishing channel by the way he's awesome and i love watching him go live fishing so ricky made him a sign to put out when he's sitting out on the potomac river with these poles all out and the washington monument and the view or a ferris wheel or something and there are these great big poles that are thank you john that are out there all black lighted and ricky sends him this sign that says chunky cat fishings it's like a neon type of glass i can't even explain it chunky cats fishing live on youtube so if people well, hi big slim hey miss rebecca so when people walk up to him or he's out there fishing or whatever they know exactly what it is and they're like oh he's live on youtube woohoo you know that kind of thing yeah did he andy and the fishing rod oh and the fishing rod and he made this and i don't and ricky please i won't do it justice understand i'm not a fisherman so i don't know what kind of rod it was but he made this fishing rod that had like a neon tube all the way around it and Glo you know, you turn it on and it glows. You don't have to paint it. It just, you just turn it on and it glows orange circles. That's fabulous. <laughs> See, Ricky's laughing at me. <laughs> I don't know what kind of fishing pole it is. It's just you. <laughs> but yeah. It's Ricky's creations. Yeah, Mike. Oh, you're saying hi. Oh, okay. Chad the Lurker. Is Chad lurking? Chad the Lurker. <laughs> I'll try to get better information, but I really don't. But he, it's awesome. If you haven't seen it, you have to go. <laughs> Thanks. If you go, if you have to, next time Chunky's live, and he said he'd probably go Thursday or Friday, that it was cold and rainy and stuff there. Um, but next time Chunky Cat's Fishing goes live, you have to go look at this stuff because it's Ricky's creation. He did it. He didn't do all of the polls. He just did the spinning one. Yeah, I can't imagine because, I mean, how's he, how's the legal going to go hunting with that? I can hear her in there. I can do. Well, Okay, so we got 25 people in here. I usually wait till 5:10, so I'll wait or 10 minutes after I start. So I'll wait another minute or so and let everybody talk a little bit, find out who's broken. <laughs> who's broken? Oh, I'm broken. Are you broken? Yeah, I'm broken. <laughs> Good thing because it's winter, except for the hunting part. But uh, 
and then I'll, I'll, uh, I had a couple of things I wanted to share on basic YouTube setup. And I know some of you, um, I'm looking at some of the names of the people that are in right now. Some of you, <laughs> legal's broken. Hey, yes, Ashley. That's okay, Chad. <laughs> Come here, Lola. I'm going to apologize. This is going to be a battle with her. She wants in there with her daddy. Come here. Hey. So there were a couple of things. I did share some stuff last week. And, you know, as I learn things and as I see things, um, because I've been looking at, like, I'll look at some of my friends' channels, and if I notice, or if I'm in a live stream, like, in Boxy Outdoors, and I'm sharing links or whatever, and I notice that those people don't have these things set up, if I can, did we hear back from him? I haven't crypto. I haven't done anything. I'm getting there. We're getting there. We had this little, my husband got hurt, and so we had that kind of throw us in the loop in the weather, and couple of other things. Lola, come here. Come here. Dang it. Lola, come here. Come here. Lay down. Lay down. You're fine. I'm sorry, you guys. She's sad because she wants in there. Do you scratch your head? Can you not do that, please? Okay. Can you lay down? Huh? Won't you lay down on your pillow? I know you're sad. Lay down on your pillow. Um, yes, we will. Um, and if I didn't say that out loud, I was thinking it. Did anybody hear from Ace this afternoon? Have we heard from him? Okay. Oh, I put a different one up there. Yeah. Can you see that one, Ashley? That one is, it's all right. That one is a Charles, put my head down. A Charles Wysocki study, and oh I did that a few years ago. It's Root Beer Beach, if you look it up online, and then that's just a wooden flower, and then I have my political ones up there right now. Those are two political ones. Good timing, huh? But those two in the middle are on wood, and then Root Beer Beach. And then, of course, the Mohomesteading logo there that's on the one we're fine thank you and the mb mb heritage farms is a homesteading channel but he's also an artist and we're gonna um later on we're gonna talk about his channel a little bit but mb just so you know i don't know if both of you are there um this is not my main medium i'm a 3d artist more than a painter so I do stone carving and welding and mosaic and <laughs> yeah, artists unite. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of homesteaders that are either creatives in one way or the other. But okay, so one of the one of the things that I kind of wanted to share as far as a new YouTube basic um, or not a new, and a lot of you may know this one, but if you notice, oh yeah. No problem. Barbecue competition is good. <laughs> Outdoor guys love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's And there's welding sculptures on the walls, crypto. There's all kinds of stuff. Lola, please come here, baby. So one of the things that I noticed when I'm sharing, um, when I'm sharing people's links, hey, Cody, um, and all of that kind of stuff. Lola, come here. I can't keep doing this with you doing that. Come here. Stay in here, poor baby. Stay here with me. And um, what? Because I'll notice these things and I'll look at their channel. And and like I always say, and I and if I can get this in people, the people that are smaller channels that haven't really focused too much on their stuff, fill in the blanks, fill in the blanks, fill in the blanks. Okay. <laughs> yes, Pete, it is actually. <laughs> fill in the blanks. Okay. If YouTube has a blank. They want it filled in. They want end cards. They want, and I don't haven't done that one yet. That's the next one I'm really going to go look at. Um, they want end cards on your videos. They want good thumbnails. They want good titles. They want your descriptions completed. Um, and that's just on the videos. Um, they want you to 
you know, there's a lot of blanks, right? Well, one of them that I noticed a lot that people do because I do have to share a lot of links is your name of your, your, oh gosh, what's it called? Now I'm going to pull it up. It's like, if you go, if you go look at my channel, Hi Half Century Farm, if you go look at my channel, one of the first things I did was I made my own unique identifier and they allow you to do that. So if you pull up www.youtube.com slash C slash my homesteading, you will always find me. That's just mine. That's my web address. But if I go into, if I go into some of the people that I know, theirs is 512 QR, blah, 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 blah. And it's not always the same. I don't believe. I think it changes each time, but I'm not sure. But if you go, if you go into your, into your settings and into your customization, you can actually make your own name. Now, granted, like Mike Turner, if you did Mike Turner, there Mike Turner might be taken, right? My well, homesteading wasn't taken. Um, Farmstead Smith probably is not taken. And I don't know if you can only do that at 100 subs. Oh, okay, cool. So that I didn't even know um, because I did. See, I don't know about that because I did mine right when I started my channel. So unless they change that, because I did mine immediately, as soon as I started my channel, and I didn't have 100 subs, so I don't know. Hey, Ralph, but maybe they changed it, and it is at 100 subs. So that means we have to get everybody to 100 subs if they're not. Um, but that's something, something for one, that <clears throat> makes it easier to find you, I believe. Um, and it's easier to share your link in the in the descriptions or, you know, to my understanding, it's, it's a better thing to have that particular thing set up and that blank filled in. So I recommend that if you don't have that filled in, go to your settings and it should be in customized, it should be in customized channel over to the right. Now mine is, I'm monetized, so mine might have changed, but if you go into settings and you are um, looking at customization and advanced and it should show you it used to have in the old one it used to have these little boxes that you clicked and it, and you'd go oh I want to do that and oh I want to do that but now it's all drop downs okay Mike <laughs> hey Matt is it a hundred okay custom URL thank you Everybody knows my brain shuts off once I get up here sometimes. So yeah, custom URL. So you want to make a custom URL on your on your channel. If you don't have a custom URL or you don't have a hundred subscribers, talk to one of us in all of these communities. We'll find a way to get, you know, we'll get everybody together and get you to a hundred where you can do that. Um, so that was one of the things I wanted to talk about. And one of the other in customers. Okay, so we need to get Mike to a hundred. Mike, do you have a video up now? You do, right? Because it's hard for people. It's hard for it to stick if you don't have something up there. I can't remember if you had one up or not. You have them up, right? <laughs> you didn't do it, John. Go we'll do it. <laughs> Okay, that's fine though. That was how long? That was a, a good 15 minute or longer, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, can someone post Mike Turner's link? Yeah, because 11 hour and a half yeah just so someone has something to watch for long enough for that sub subscription to stick and because otherwise it won't it's like we were talking about it in uh 110 fishing i think today or it might have been half pace outdoors i can't remember which one live stream it was but we were talking about uh miss rebecca at mud tramp and we we're like put a video up so that when you do get to where you're loading videos and stuff um, somebody will find it, guys. They'll get it linked up there here in a little bit. If not, I'll find it. 
but it's good to have that custom URL. It's, it's like I said, these are small things. These are basics. And some of you that are larger channels, you already know some of these. Um, but a lot of the channels and the outdoors channels and, and smaller channels really don't. They go in and they set up some things, but they haven't gotten to that point yet where they're looking at all the blanks. Even if you just do a couple of things a week to fill in the blanks, you got to get everything filled in. They want it done that way. They want to put you in data. They want you to be, you know, yours is already set up so you didn't miss anything. <laughs> Jada, we're talking about custom URL right now, and yours is already done. So psh, psh, you don't have to worry. <laughs> I'm Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Jada were talking the other day because I, w I went in and, and went in Mr. I don't know if I'll, any of you guys know who Mr. Beast is. He's like the biggest YouTuber ever. <laughs> and, so, and they're funny and they're giving and they're very philanthropist, philanthropists, philanthropy, philanthropists. I can't even say that word. <laughs> they give back to the community a lot. And he did a, but they make a lot of money too. They do really well. And oh, nice, Rebecca, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, it should be line cook. It should be either in the customization script, philanthropic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can see the word in my head, but getting it out of your mouth sometimes is difficult when you're on screen. Hey, come here. Come back. Please come back. Lola, please come back. They give away a lot of money. So I bought a t-shirt. And <laughs> Lola, come here. I bought a really cool t-shirt. They had a cool they had a 24 hour live. And if you bought a t-shirt, you were in and you were in the live stream. No. If you bought a t-shirt, you had an opportunity to be one of 24 people to win a million dollars for a competition. And they also were just shoving money in the t-shirts they were shipping out. Now, we'll see if I, I think it's real. I assume it's real. I assume when I get my shirt, there's going to be some cash in there. I don't know how much. But even if it's a couple of bucks, then um, that's what they were trying to do. I thought that was interesting. But we were talking about, um, me and Jada were talking about, you know, different things. Uh, well, Anyway, I'll tell another story another time. But what was your first content that you put on YouTube has never looked? Okay. What was your first content that you put up on YouTube, Mo, as I never looked, should, I should do it? Okay. My first one was my first YouTube video. It was, hi, I'm a homesteading. Um, it took me forever to video that. Um, I took 50 takes of it and cut it all together and I had shadows in my, I mean, I was really trying to do it right. Um, backwoods bar Lola, come here. Backwoods Barbarian turned me to the custom mural last week. Right. And that's what I'm saying. Cody, that's what I'm saying. It's just little things at a time that you realize, but it, even if you go into each customization screen and go, okay, this week, I'm going to learn what this means. I'm going to go watch a video. I'm going to go listen to Mo. I'm going to go listen to Backwoods Barbarian or my friend's going to tell me, but just fill in all the blanks. Who has a pre-written description? Who all has a pre-written description? I do. For every single channel, for every single video that gets loaded. Even when I do these lives, I copy paste it into the stream yard so that my, my standard, Standard description is there, and everyone should have that. Lola, please come here. As you as you build your channel, and a lot of people do um, Amazon links, or uh, and I think we talked about that a little bit. Hi, Estonian scrapper. Okay, Mike. Um, and then I did a crypto, and then we did. Uh, I did like a video. Gosh, what was my second one? I did a video on zucchinis. No, loofahs. And I did a video on uh, 
when I got my chick, my meat chickens and I did a building a goat step video. Um, do, do you do Amazon links, Shada? See, I haven't quite gotten there yet. I need to, I know I've been listening to Romantic a little bit about it and I'm going to look into it a little bit more. Uh, and when I find that out, I'll share it with everyone. Or maybe you could dub if you already have all the answers and then I don't have to go research it. <laughs> okay, cool. Sure thing, Matt. Okay, so that was one of them was the custom URL. I do think, that, like everybody's talking about, the descriptions in your in your your descriptions either on your playlist needs a description and a description on your videos. It's important. They want it. It's a blank. And I'm going to say that a million times as I do these. It's a blank. Fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. Fill in the blank. They want it that way. There's a reason why it's automated. They want the blank filled in. They look to the blank. If there's a blank blank and there's nothing there, then it, it puts you in this other category. It's kind of like I used to, uh, I was in finance for my career. And one of the things I did was process improvement. And something simple that's a process improvement in a computer system is a mailing program, standardized addresses. OK, so the post office has a standardized address that will that for your house. No periods, no commas, no nothing. It's just there's certain things that they do in a certain way for your address to be standardized. And the reason that is, is when these little envelopes go in these little chutes, right? So all these envelopes go in this chute and here's an address with a period in it that shouldn't be there. Right. So these two envelopes have the exact same address. This one has a period in it. It hits the line. This one goes that way. And this one goes on to its destination. So you, it has to go through another check because it isn't set up to be standard. And so one of the things that we would do with some of the process improvements were so that our invoices would get to our customers faster and on time and our statements, that was when everything was still being mailed, um, that we wanted to have standardized, standardized addresses that for the U.S. Postal Service. And they actually have programs where you can dump your entire customer list into their program and it reformats all of it so you can dump it right back into your system. Just a note. <clears throat> I'm not sure why the line cook just tried to call me. Did he just try to call me? <laughs> Did you just try to call me? That's funny. What was that? Something just happened. I don't know what that was, but line cook just popped up on my phone. <laughs> okay, so... I've been sharing YouTube stuff on my channel too during lives, mostly, but one video on shorts. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Cause I need to find out about that one too. I'll go check yours out. Cause I, I definitely think that the short, you know, there's a lot of discussion in the homesteading groups on Facebook about should we do shorts? Should, should we not do shorts? And, um, and I, and I, I haven't found out from a standpoint of analytics, if that hurts you or helps you, or I can't see how it can hurt you. It's still a video, right? Donkeys. I love donkeys. Hi, Vanessa Kitty. Cool. And, and it's, you know, this is the first, I started doing this Monday lives and I kind of wanted to share these little things because I am, in a lot of outdoor communities and a lot of fishing communities where no offense guys you're the ones doing your channel these little and i'm not trying to be where oh no the women do all the stuff on the channel because that's not true but the i'm going to say a high percentage of it if it's a man's channel the man's doing the work and they're not going to be as detail oriented most of the time please don't throw rocks at me they're not going to be as much as detail oriented as the wife would or the one of their 18 year old children that love to do this kind of stuff they're not going to look at it the same 
Um, so I think sometimes it helps to just kind of put it out there and have everybody talk about it and, and start getting those blanks filled in. So I have to be at a point where I don't care what anyone thinks, just push through it and do it. Yeah, and we tell people that all the time. Put up content, put up content, put up content. Um, one of the things uh, that, oh, that's what I was thinking of. Me and J-Dub and I, thank you. Aren't you sweet? That was nice of you, Estonian Scrapper. That was nice of you. Um, thank you. Uh, the, oh, shoot, God, I lost my train of thought. Crap. Oh, we were talking about the Mr. Beast thing. And so I cut me and Honey and stuff with J.J.D. And, and then I was talking to J.W. a little bit about it. And Mr. Beast used to be a, I mean, he's 21 now, I think. He was a gaming channel. He just put up Minecraft videos when he first started. It took him a year to get to 700 subscribers. And he blew up. And now the man makes like, what? On that one live stream, they probably made $10 million on a live stream, guys, selling t-shirts. Between super chats, between memberships. If it, he has 45 million subscribers, if he has a million members and they're all at a dollar a piece, that's a monthly thing. But we know he makes more than that. You know, it's just crazy money and he gives it back. And he said one of the things that um, that he did when he first started was he put everything back into the channel, gave it all back, did, did it to make more videos. Everything that he made, he put it back into his channel back into his subscribers to just like any other business model to put it back into a new business. And he just kept growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. And when he felt like um, he was getting kind of high, I can take you big cats. <laughs> but he, he really, you know, I went back and researched and I found this one video. Hi, half pace. No worries. Um, I found this one video that was really inspiring and he wasn't a big channel when he made this video. And he's like, and I, and I thought it was great and I'll share it on my community page. So you guys can see this. It's not anything like, you know, mind blowing or anything like that. It's just this little video of picture yourself with a YouTube silver million subscriber button. If you want, and it has all of these really great uh, inspiring things you know, people have said and recordings and pictures and it's just this little like PowerPoint presentation video of thank you. Love you too, Amanda. Thank you. That was so sweet. Yeah, he's he's great. And 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 it's like you know, we all help each other. He does the same thing. He's just bigger now, you know, and there's lots of, there's lots of channels like that. And you, and you just have to, you can't think to yourself that I can't do it. I'm not going fast enough. It's too slow. I'm not blowing up. You know, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm, I don't have 5,000 subscribers or 10,000 subscribers, or I didn't have a viral video. Hi, Wanda. If somebody can share Amanda's link, that'd be fabulous. The A and B Outback Adventures is Miss Amanda. And so I will share that link because I thought it was cool. It's like if I could get my friends, I'd even do it for them. If I if I figure out a position to hold yourself in where I can edit that thing and put that million subscriber button in your hand where you can look at that picture on your computer every day and have that inspiration and understand, yes, absolutely, Ricky, that it takes time and it takes effort and you have to really put yourself into this is what I'm wanting to do. You know, it's like I, I did it when I first started it. It was more, it was more for, I wanted to kind of document things originally a long time ago for my grandkids. I wanted to read them stories and to teach them how to do things that 
I didn't get to teach my children because we're kind of a skip generation. My grandparents taught me some things, but we didn't grow up in that environment. I moved my kids out of the country. I moved them to the city on purpose. Um, and so I wanted them to be high duck master. Hey, cookie monster vision board, vision board, baby. Yeah. I mean, whatever works for you, you know, but you have to stay positive with it. And that is the biggest thing. The more, the more negative you are on yourself, on your videos, on all of it, you know, the more negative you are about it, the more you're going to get dragged down and you're not going to push that little bit harder and you're not going to, you know, you're not, you're not going to push. You're not going to try as much as you would if you just understand that it takes time and not everything is instant gratification. So, just saying. Thank you. I love the Lufa video. <laughs> I was totally shocked that Lufa is a vegetable. I was thrilled and I was sad at the same time because it was a horrible garden year. So those didn't turn out as good as I wanted them to. They're very thin and the seeds weren't very good, but, and we didn't do a garden this year for various reasons. Some of you know, and some of you don't, but we, we didn't do a garden this year at all. Now next year we will. Um, hopefully should be able to. Unless something weird happens. What did my trap say? Remember, those are gaming channels, touch pretty much all age groups, so the popularity of it explodes through many venues. Yeah, but he did, it wasn't just, for him, it wasn't just the gaming. He did videos on just his attitude, things that he felt about, uh, you know, but he did start, start out originally as a gaming channel, and I agree with that. I'd love to live in the country. Crypto, you guys are shut down, huh? Did they shut you completely down now? Hi, Mike. Hi, Appalachian American Homestead. How are you? Thank you for coming in. I love Tennessee. My papa was from Tennessee, but I don't know where. I'd have to think about that one. I don't think it was Memphis. Thank you, John. Appalachian American Homestead is a new one. I haven't seen you around. I'm... Don't remember seeing you, man. I'm about to go look you up. What's up, Zach? Okay, Cody. And I'm drinking coffee. This is how bored I am lately, guys. I'm drinking coffee. Mm. I heard all of Europe was doing that. I am fabulous always, bud. And I don't know if you're a girl or a guy or a couple. Hi, Uncle Surf. Knoxville. I can't remember where my, my papa was from, but he was originally from Tennessee and still had family back there. He's in Morgan. So still had family back there, but he moved to moved to Oklahoma. Hi, Park Nest. I don't know what it is either. Come here and lay down. I should have left the TV on. Come here. Um, <laughs> what's up, Matt? <clears throat> so that was that was the big. Other than I will always try to inspire. I will. You guys. Well, most of the people that come into my live streams or know me from going into other live streams. I will always be positive. If I get negative, make me go home. Because <laughs> I shouldn't be being negative in any way, shape, or form. Uh, you know. Oh, half and half pace. Hey, come here. We got big trucks rolling through tonight for some reason. I'm not sure. Sit down. And for some reason, the people across the street are there's someone over there, and I don't know who that is <laughs> because there's not supposed to be anybody over there. Hi, Lisa. Mod and mod. I know. Oh, there's something, guys. There was something weird going on with the moderator stuff today. I don't know if anybody noticed, but like in half pace, I went in and he had made me a moderator a long time ago. So I go into his channel, into his live stream. I'm not a mod. 
And I thought, oh, no, I've done something to upset him. I've never been unmodded in my life. I don't even know. I, I was like, holy cow, what did I do? And uh, um, hi, Anthony. And uh, so he went in. He goes, no, no, I don't know what that is. He goes, I because he had messaged me about being there on a certain day on Friday, and I couldn't be there. You know, I was a mod. And then all of a sudden, I'm not a mod. And so then I start typing after he makes me a mod. And I don't know when you're a mod at the bottom of the screen, it shows you as blue with a wrench right next to where you post, you know, post your comment or type your chat in. And mine was not showing that. So I typed something in, it pop up on the screen and it almost like it did a verification and then came back and my comment was blue. So they changed something today. Something has happened. Really? Dub, for real? But it was like, why? Why would they change that? So weird. So I went into another stream and it was happening there too. So I know it was a uh, a YouTube thing because I was a moderator in that stream and it was, you know, popping through. Uh-oh. Yeah, Steve didn't even know what that was about. Mm -mm. Yeah, it was very strange. It was very odd. So I don't know if it was because they were doing updates today because it's in the month or or what. But it was definitely something hinky. Lola, please come here. She's probably eating all that caffeine. Let me sick. I only have one baby gate and it normally blocks her from going to the cat food. And I have it somewhere else. But I have it in the hallway now, so she can't get into the hallway to get to my husband. So can leave the bedroom door open. Come here. Come here, baby. Oh, okay. So, Miss Sarah just walked in. Hi. Hi, Miss Sarah. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk to everyone about, and that's because it's been kind of a topic of conversation forever, are blocked words. There are, if you don't know about the blocked words, hidden words, so I don't know if it says blocked or hidden. I'd have to go back and look real quick. But it's in community settings, and it's words that you do not want used in your chat. Okay? And there are – hi, wild man. How are you, kiddo? Oh, that'll be fun, Dub. Hi, Narraway. How are you? And so if you want to do uh, – cool, Cody. Welcome back. It was the full moon. The full moon was affecting YouTube in all these different ways. But uh, Lola, come here. So blocked words. That was something before I started doing live streams. And because I know it, because I read through some of the things that were happening in other live streams, because I was a moderator. Hi, Capri. I had it when chatting on people's streams that I'm a mod on my names, but changing to every person that was a mod and they would have mine, but no one could see it. That's that other program outside program. Somebody's using to be able to find your channel crypto. That's what that sounds like to me. Sounds like they have that outside program that people have been using to, you know how they used to have the three dots and you could go to somebody's channel. They're using this outside program and it's not working properly, but it could be something else. And the fish. And the fish. <laughs> Full moon and the fish. <laughs> Lola, come here. So there are, if you look up on, on Google. Hi, James Dockery. I saw you live earlier, but I couldn't get in there and chat. But I just had you running. Because I had to run to the store and some other stuff. No, you weren't going mad. <laughs> it's those, those outside programs sometimes affect what happens in the YouTube world. Lola, please come here. She's just sad. She wants in there with him. Come here. Hey, come here. Lola, come here. Um, anyway, if you go Google online and you look up words to block on YouTube, okay, you can go in. It's a data file. You can go open it. If there are some that you think are okay, leave them in there. Cut them out. 
if they're if you just want to go into your settings and set up blocked words for certain words do that too you can hand type them all you just type it enter type it enter i will say you need to do if you're going to do it like i don't i don't everybody that knows me knows i don't i do a pg uh, live stream i'm you know i'm not into um doing language or sexual innuendos too heavily, you know, subtly is fine. Heavily is not, you know, um, that kind of thing. I'm not into that. You know, we're, we're all having fun and we don't have to, there's plenty of uh, Miss Gidget says it. she said it before. And I always say that, um, there are other places people can go and do that kind of stuff. They don't have to do it in mine. You know, they can do it in others, but they don't have to do it in mine. Um, so I will recommend that you go to those blocked words because sometimes if you don't have them blocked or hidden, YouTube will do it on its own if it doesn't like the word. OK, so it'll either block that person. Yes, family friendly. It'll either block that person from saying that or it'll put it up as a show hide is what I call it for the moderators to decide if what you're saying is appropriate in that live stream. Now. Um, I ran into that the other night where someone had said something in a live stream that apparently was fairly inappropriate because it popped up as an inappropriate comment as a show hide to the moderators and one of the moderators did hide it. That person didn't like that very much. <laughs> and the one thing and the, and the one thing about it is, okay, JV, the one thing about it, you know, is you have to respect the person that, is the host of the channel you're watching. It can't be just what, how you want to present yourself in the chat. You have to respect the person that you're listening to. And if you don't, then you shouldn't be in their live stream. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things. Okay. Backwards barbarian. Oh, woohoo. That's fun. So, and it's, and it's not a bad thing. It's just something that everybody has to make that decision on how they want their channel to run. Because let's say, okay, I'm going to, I feel so bad now. I'm going to use you MB Heritage. <laughs> MB Heritage Farms is a very small channel right now. I think they're going to get bigger. So these are things that they would want to know in the beginning, because when they go to, to monetize your channel, they're going to look at everything you ever created. Everything. They're going to look at all of your live streams. They're going to look at all of your detail, <laughs> everything. So if you know these things now, when you're starting your channel and you're, and you're building and they understand too, I think that, that you are, that you grow as you go along, but just be aware of community standards, you know, in that time frame. Just letting you know. Because <laughs> it will. And I've seen it come back on people where they think they're okay and they're putting up their videos and they're having some fairly rowdy live streams and then they get to the end and, you know, YouTube says no. We're going to pass on that. <laughs> yeah. And that's good. I mean, I'm not, and, and I always profess, I'm not a pro, guys. I just know what I read, what I study what I try to, yes. And if you pre-set up your AdSense account, do it now. Just do it now. Set it up right now. Go in. Lola, come here. Go in. Set everything up. Pre-apply for the AdSense. And, you know, just do it. Just do it now. I agree. Okay. So. Those are the main things that I wanted to get across to everybody today in my live stream. I don't think you can sit. Yeah, I did. I set mine up. That's how mine went through so fast. But now that was a year or so ago. So they may have changed it now. Are they not letting you preset it up now? Oh, Ooh, can't reapply. <laughs> Mo, can I be like you when I go out? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Man, that's a bummer that you can't pre-apply. Because I, Farmstead Smith, I don't know if you know this or not, but I got, I got an email 
in the beginning of September, end of August, and it said, hey, if you don't get your hours, you've got your, your, your people, if you don't get your hours by this certain date, you have to reapply. And my biggest worry with all the rumors that were out there were was they were going to change the criteria and I was grandfathered in. And I wasn't the only person. You notice there was a whole bunch of people pushing and still are um, pushing for 4K when they needed thousands of hours, but they had the subscribers. Okay. So I think a lot of these people got emails that said, hey, do it or you're going to have to reapply. Yes. Beast is such a good name. Yes, he can ask me for sure. So, but I did all of mine way back, you know, when I, I'd set it all up and I went, you know, I'm just going to fill out all of this stuff and get it all in there and, and fill in the blanks. And, and when my, when my 4,000 hit, I was immediately monetized. It didn't even go into review. I was done. It took like a minute and a half. So, one second. I'm going to mute for half a second. Making sure he didn't need anything. He's talking to Lula. Still have my incense from when AdSense from when I was monetized. I wonder if that's still valid, Joe. I wonder if that's still considered your number. Where do I start? <laughs> you mean start filling in a blank every day. Fill in a blank. You can message me. I'll help you without a problem at all. I don't mind at all. I'll help you with anything I can. You can, I'm on Instagram. My email is all of my contact, everything I have, Facebook, all of it is all under my home setting. So you can find me anywhere. I'll have my hours before I have my 1K. You may, which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. We'll get you there, you know, and it takes time. But Having your hours before you have your subscribers is not a horrible thing. Still show money in it. Why don't they give it to you? Why aren't they giving it to you? Because it's not up to 100. 312, a little over 1,000 hours, small steps. Yeah. Yes. Well, we just need to, you know, the, the outdoors communities and the homesteading communities have and then several others are really good at supporting each other. And if you support other people and you show up to their live streams and you show up and you watch their videos and you, you know, support them in that, in this first, this first little push that everybody's trying to get to, you know, you've got to have your friends. You can, you can slowly do it over a couple, two, three, four years, but I really believe YouTube is about community too. So it's better to have loyal views than fake subscribers. Right. So, yeah, because way back, oh, gosh, a year and a half ago, the I'm glad they, I have to be straight up, I'm glad they hiked, man. I'm glad that they shut down the S for S channels almost. Because, you know, if I look at my, my charting, I never, I went into those, but I didn't ever do that. You know what I mean? I looked for channels that I thought I would actually watch. Like I would look for art channels. I would look for outdoors channels. I wouldn't just go get any channels that I could find and do them, but they did them to me. They did it to me. Like they'd come pick up. There'd be all these crazy different channels that I would never watch that came and, and um, clicked my buttons. Right. Um, and so over time you start to see those fall off. And if you look at your chart, if I look at my chart, I lost a thousand subscribers in all that time period. So it all rotated back through. And now I think I'm solid with I'm almost at 1700. I think I might hit 1700 today. So I was pretty happy with that. Yes, it's absolutely fabulous to go as much as you can. You know, people do. <laughs> I rattle trap. There, you know, people try to go into channels and they try to do as much as they can, but people work full time and have families and everything else. But you, you should try to support as much as you can. 
honesty, integrity, and keeping it real is a part of my ethos. Yep, I know that part, Mist. I know that for a fact. I've heard you say that before. Mm. Hi, Quebec Homestead. How are you? Is it just like covered? Are you just covered in snow right now? <laughs> it's so hard to post a lot. It is. It's hard. It takes time. And, you you know, one of the things that I do, what I did, and that kind of, you're better off sticking with what you love and like doing. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It's got to be whatever your passion is. How long have I been on YouTube? I put my first video up, I think, February of 2019. Now, I will say that I did not... Um, I did not really get into it until about the end of May, June of 2019. Um, and that's because I started to see some drama that I, I didn't, I hadn't learned everything yet. And I started to see some drama in the homesteading communities. And I was like, ew, I don't know if I want to be a part of all of that kind of stuff, but it's a part of YouTube. You just deal with that. It's just something that happens and you go, wow, did that really just happen? <laughs> and you move on and you walk away. Oh, you're in a snowstorm right now? Does all this matter if you don't want to be monetized? You know, no, but I can tell you right now that most everyone that says that eventually does get monetized. Because you, they just do. They just, it's just a progression. Even if it takes you three years to get there. You know what I mean? Even you will always get there. And then you're like, oh, well, yeah, maybe I would want to, you know. Um, I've heard so many people say that they don't want to. And, you know. One of those things. Oh, you're okay, Georgia Trappy. Stay warm, Quebec. It sure doesn't, but why wouldn't you? Yeah, why wouldn't you want to? It's It's not a... Um, it is an opportunity. And if you're, if you're putting out videos and you're gaining subscribers and let's say you get a thousand subscribers in the next six months and you're, and you hit a monetization level with your subscribers and then you're going, wow, maybe I should do this. Well, then you've got a hundred videos that half of them are not community guideline, you know? One of those things. I was just getting ready to bring the animals in. Saw you were on. Gosh, it's going to be cold up there. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Yeah, I mean, when we get, when I'm done with my live stream, I'll go till seven probably. And um, when we're done, I've got to go lock the chickens up because we're an hour behind now. So it'll be dark for like an hour out there. They don't even know what to do with themselves. I went out there early this morning and... They're not used to me coming out that early. <laughs> they were all snuggled. They were all warm. <laughs> I live in Missouri. Seven years strong on putting out videos. You know, and it just, it's one of those things where I'm telling you, filling in the blanks makes a difference. It really does. 427. Oh. It's a great stepping stone for your channel and your work to get monetized. Yeah. I don't like the time change either. I think it's the most silly thing I've ever heard of. I don't get it. There's no reason for it. It used to be for farmers. Farmers don't care. I live all around farmers. They're like, we just do it when, when the sun comes up, we get up. <laughs> they don't need to change it for us to make it. We work from sun up to sundown. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Start too early. <laughs> 7.58 a.m. It is daylight for you. No, it's pitch dark, 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 dark. Yeah, and see, I haven't done a trailer yet either. I think my first video, I'm just totally silly. <laughs> <coughs> and a couple of them after that, I'm pretty silly. But I think now I could probably do a video and... I need to be doing more videos. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. It's 5.59 for me, and it's already been dark for a while. Are you in California? 
Where are you at? Farmstead Smith. I can't remember where you are. California? Mm. But I'm, I do want to... Oregon. I lived up there. I lived in... When I was in my... I was 19, 20. And I lived in... Celeste, so Oregon, in an old logging camp that had been redone. So it's about, it's over by, uh, like, Eugene. Are you in the Eugene Springfield? But I lived on the coast over by Newport. So if you, <laughs> stop. If you, sorry. If you had earbuds in, I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, I it was it was a nice place. I liked it. I loved they had there was this little meat market there. I did. I was young, but I did like it there. Just didn't like the husband I was with at the time, <laughs> so I left him there. <laughs> That's horrible, but it's the truth. <laughs> Near Bend, okay. I wonder if our paths cross. I grew up between Eddieville and Logstown. Seen you on Facebook, but it's not your my homesteading Facebook. Um, crypto, I am a little leery about that now more than I was before. Um, we had kind of a high street copper. So what I do is I watch if people send me if someone was to send me a request to be my friend on my normal Facebook account where all my family is there and all of my uh, close relations and there's a 10 year history. I'm going to be a little more leery about accepting right now than I was before. And I'll get to know that person a lot better, know that I understand who they are. Um, we had kind of a, and I won't talk too much about it, and I'm not, I'm not going to say who it was, but we had a definite, I don't even like saying the words. We had someone that was not a good person in our community and nobody knew. And so once we found out about it, um, it makes you very hesitant because nobody knew. So I'm careful. Doesn't mean thank you. <laughs> Aren't you sweet? Go back. You're always so sweet with that. Um, so you, that's something I'll talk about eventually one of these times. I just, it's kind of a negative topic and I hate talking about negative stuff, but um, be very careful and understand that there are kids out here in our channels. Um, that people can that people can prey on and they will so protect the kids in your live streams and protect the kids on your channels if you're a good heart you've got to do that so be careful be careful about who you give your private information out to make sure you know them and you know that you trust them and especially if you're a girl the guys are a little bit different you know I talk to Trevor J about that all the time. You know, guys are a little bit different. Women are, women are, we have to be careful about what we do. So anyway, moving on. Never know who's watching. That's right. You just don't. End Street Copper, you're awesome. Just saying, I love that stuff. Aren't always what they seem. Yes, you have to. You know, I don't have, I don't have little kids anymore in my household. I do have grandchildren. Um, I do have people that, hi, AJP, I'm sorry <laughs> that I did not say hi to you last time you were here. Um, thought you were someone else and uh, didn't say hi to you because I thought you were someone else. But I know you're not that person now. So, <laughs> um, yeah, you have to be really careful, baby. Seriously. It 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 really and what you video and what you put up and, you know, yeah, have to be. Sure. What's up, Street Copper? What's your question? Yeah. 
Okay, James. Thank you for hanging in. You're fine. I appreciate you coming in. Um, James Dockery was uh, really nice to me when I first started going into um, the fishing communities, and he sent me an email and basically said, you're what a boss. So funny, but uh, and he he was on a I think he was on catfish and crappie. I know, but I felt bad at GP. I really did. Um, where are going? Yes, due to a certain issue, I was going to put up a few kids in their channel, but decided not to. Uh -uh. I'm gonna suggest you don't. And that's just me. You never know. You never know who's watching. Oh yes. So Street Copper asked me this question, and I know some of you heard this story, so I won't be lengthy with it, but does the time on my clock mean something? Yes, it does. I was in big business, and it was like, and, and the, the short version of it is um, I was on the phone with a regional manager uh, and with one of my regional managers, and we were talking about something that was going on and it was just a crazy day at work and it was insane and it was beyond. We had auditors in and we had this and that and the computer systems. And she was making a comment about um, how she felt at the moment. And I said, I think we just need shots of tequila right now. And I looked down at the computer time and it was 9.43. It was, and I had gotten there about 45 minutes prior. So I was at my job. I had been there 45 minutes. It was 9.43 in the morning, and I was thinking I needed a tequila shot. That's how rough that day was. I think at that point, I decided whether, and it was probably 10 years later um, before I, I stopped doing that kind of stuff, but um, it was a definite turning moment in my life where I went, wow, this is so not worth it. This is not worth it. <laughs> I'm I'm killing myself doing this job for someone that thinks of me as a number and I'm stressed out all the time and I don't sleep at night and I'm on call 24 hours a day and, and that kind of stuff yeah no <laughs> so that's what it was so that's why and I love coffee so that's a self-portrait so 943 my coffee cup and me and my little necklace thing and she's smelling the flowers yeah, that's the original painting. Yeah, cats are in there. You can hear them rustling around in the bag. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. Hi, Ralph. You're up late, bud. Hi, Buckeye hunting and fishing. Yeah, it's, you know, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I got messed around so many times because I'm too nice <laughs> in business by several different people, not just one. Now, the company that I worked at there, she did not. She she was a good boss, and she, I, yeah, she didn't do that. She didn't mess me around, but a lot of other companies did. Yes, I will. That's one of the. <laughs> yeah, that's Trinette Williams. I know she went at the same time I did, Ralph. She was like on like 30 minutes, but I already had this already scheduled up. <laughs> Trinette Williams, right. <laughs> yes, I will. I'll actually probably do them on, uh, on an art live stream. I'll get everything set up, set up my camera and just sit there and talk to you guys and make them. Yep, you have to. You got to remember... No worries. You just have to remember to look at everything and find the beauty in everything. You know what I mean? Don't don't let the work that you do take over your life because it will for a while. No matter who you are. Hi, Shrenette. I'm so sorry. I can't do finger hearts, but I'll do that. <laughs> Wait. I do it like that. Yeah, I will. Okay. 
She's like, I can't hear you, but I'll be joining the chat soon. But yeah, so those are some of the basic things um, going back to all that stuff. Fill in the blanks. Do your custom URL. Um, make sure you always have, even if you don't use your, your metadata, you know, pound sign this, pound sign that. You know, it doesn't have to be, and I tell this to everyone, your pound sign metadata tag that you put in your description does not have to be totally about your video. If it's a if if your whole channel is <laughs> if your whole channel is about um, homesteading, but your video that particular day is about a goat, you can put goat in every single one of your videos if you want to. It pulls the people to your channel when they do a search. So you you want to use words, you know, I think I have 10 in mine right now, you know, live streams, um, homesteading, farming, hunting, fishing, da, 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 da. Sensei, thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. Just, I'm, I'm all about finding the beauty in your day. That's absolutely it. Gotta move forward. Hashtags. That's it. Oh my god. How do you get it to show up above the title? Um. Where do I put those? I'll have to go look at that. I can't remember where those are. I think those are in the. I'll have to find out. I'll find out. Because I, I think I have them. Pretty sure. That's one of those blanks I filled in, but I could be wrong. Hold on. Let me look at something real quick. Dang, it made me wonder if I did something right. <laughs> like I said, I am totally not a pro. Um, let me go see. I'll go look at my channel. And let's go look at videos. And let's just go look at, look at this one. Yeah, mine just has the Missouri in there. Um, gosh, Shernat, can I ask you a question? Hi, Miss Jenna. Hi, David. <laughs> okay. Hi, custom screen printing. Ralph, do you know how to do that? Ro probably does. Because mine's tag, it's got to be a tag somewhere. It's either a tag, let me see, maybe I didn't have any in that one. Hi, Winton Fishing. Did you guys catch anything else? I was in there most of the time you were live. Oh, Shernette. Oh, good. She's there. How do you, you know, at the top, right underneath your video and your, and there's, you know, people put hashtags where they show up in blue under your video. Where do they put that in the settings to make that pop up there? Do you know? Because I do the city, I do the state, but I can't remember if there's an actual place to put that. There has to be. Hi, Drop. Hi, Catfish Cameron. Hey, New Kitchen World. I can't remember. Because I don't think I put it in my last video, but I just fill in all the blanks. Yeah, I put them in the description. That's what I do. But for some reason, people have them show up, like they have them show up above their, right underneath the edge of their, um, and the only thing I have show up is where I tagged it as Missouri. So I'm not sure why. Nope, never done that pound hashtag thingy. I say pound, I'm old. Pound. I have a link for it. Okay. Top of the description. Yeah, I do mine in the top of the description. Harvesting green bean pole beans. Yay. With three that were around 20 pounds, 18 pounder, and one three pound channel cat. Gotcha. Cool. That's pretty awesome. The one with the whiskers was my favorite. So I do this. Pound my homesteading, pound Trinette Williams. Yeah, that's what I do too. There's got to be somewhere though. I got to figure out where that is now. I can see yours in the title. You can? Okay. Interesting. Did you want to put a link on your video screen on homesteading? No. 
it's like when you load a video it's right underneath the, the video okay I'll be here till for about another 45 minutes I'll send you a pic on ID okay cool I'll work Mike's leaving night Mike Catfish Cameron, thanks for coming in. Okay, you know, yeah, I'll still be here. I'll be here until 7. I didn't know um, Trinette was still doing Mondays or I wouldn't have done this time. That's the honest truth. I mean, I know our, you know, we have different people in our, tell me if that's what you mean. Bye, Wayne. Go over to your Instagram. He did try to. He tried to call me on. That's funny. See, and I don't even know how I did that. Does it pull from the first three of your description? If you put them right at the top of your description? Okay, so let me show you guys. She sent me a picture of myself. Showing they're there. See them? But those are the ones that are in the top line of my description. So I'm thinking it. I'll look at that later, but I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Because I didn't put those in my. Hello, Lula. Hello, baby. I didn't put those in my. I didn't put them anywhere else. I put them in the description. So I bet it pulls it in. Oh, good. I'm glad, Cameron. I try to. I think if I don't know something, someone that's in my live stream will answer to those. So I try to, and I try to just do a few things at a time. And the things today, she sent me a voice clip. I can play it out loud if I want to. Okay. Hold on. We are having a voice from beyond. No, <laughs> beyond the United States and Canada. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> my friend, Jeanette Williams, is going to explain something to us. Let me turn this up. Okay, where's my mic at? <laughs> Hold on. I don't know where the mic is. Right there. That's my camera. Whoops. <laughs> I think the mic is right there. I'm just going to put it up close. Okay, you guys ready? Yes, it does pull from the first three hashtags that are in your description. And um, I think you can put it anywhere in your description. So I want to send you a voice note really quickly. <laughs> I don't know if it shows more than three, but I just do three. So I'm not sure. But love you. You love look you. beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so... I guess that's why it does it. Now, if I do the, she's so cute, right? Podcast voice. <laughs> so I'm going to say, if you put them in the, in your description, they pop up there. But I will also say, I know I tag the Missouri in my setup for advanced settings on each individual video. So that also populates the Missouri or the three hashtags. Hi, Gaffa. Mm, thank you. My hair's kind of fuzzy today. I'm not feeling that way. Lola, I don't need protection from the cat, but thank you. No kids come around here, but to be fair, no one's going to have it. Oh, I missed something. <laughs> Trinette just needs chickens. She needs to live somewhere she can have her own chickens someday. A voice reveal. <laughs> then we can do it with a hot water bath. It's super easy. So what did you do for Halloween? We did not do anything um, because uh, my husband had surgery Friday. So we didn't even give out candy. My daughter... Um, they had a trunk or treat in the uh, park at the park and they had about six families that 
participated in that, I believe, in the fire station. And then there were a lot of people in town that did walk around and go trick or treating. So there was quite a few out. I was surprised. He is. He's great. He's doing great. He's doing awesome. He's just still swollen and is propped up in there. I got six dozen so far. You have so many chickens drop. <laughs> Lola. Chasing the cat. Hi, Rolling Homestead. How are you? I love it when people come in. So fun. It's just fun. I love seeing people I haven't seen in a while. Drop, I'm a far, far neighbor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I'm trying to hear what she's doing. Me too, Crypto. I hope he heals really quick because um, he's not someone to be down. You know, he wants to be doing stuff. And I feel bad for him. You know, him sit, like, I sit here in front of this computer for two hours. Mm -mm. He's an outside guy. He wants to be doing stuff. He doesn't want to be sitting in there watching TV. Well, you got to see some today. I'm going to be doing more. He's great, Trinette. He's doing good. He had a surgery on Friday on his knee because I locked him in a chicken run. And he decided to jump the fence, which was silly. And he shouldn't have done that, but, you know. Thank you, Park Nest. Yeah, we figured that out eventually. So my finger's still messed up. Yeah, I accidentally, that chicken run we have is a six-foot fence around the chicken run. Hey, Ionic. What's up? ADK Outdoorsman. That's who that is. Yeah, he's doing good. They told him he had the bones and everything of someone half his age. So that's a good thing. You know? <laughs> yep. I'm live. My hair's driving me crazy. <laughs> yeah, drop has too many Jenkins. <laughs> oh, Ralph, real quick before you go, are you guys shut down? Are they shutting you down? We were curious about that. I know Germany's a mess. Give me a left already. I know they're shutting down UK. I just wondered. I had somebody I was talking to in Germany earlier, and they were like, oh, yeah, we're ready to get out of here. We want out. Let them leave. I'm going to fix this. <laughs> Stay, Ralph. Nope, he's gone. Lola, come here. I don't think everybody knows that, that they're shutting down UK. And I saw some stuff on it earlier this morning. Not in the United States. They're not telling anybody anything. They're only putting out there what they want to elections tomorrow. <laughs> I cured everyone by sneezing on them. Yeah. On your bed. It's bad. It's bad here. People don't want to. Yeah. Sneezing on people. Twelve twenty-three. Thank you. I did. <laughs> My puppy wants to see Lola. She won't come up here. Yeah, they're gonna shut it back down. They're just waiting till after the election here, and they'll shut it back down. I guarantee you. You watch. They won't have a choice. <laughs> Everybody's getting sick. <laughs> they won't have a choice. Lola, come here. I can hear her in there. Yeah, I don't like it either, but I'm a hibernator. Thank you, John. This all yours too. Come here. Lola. She's a shrink. 
So the dawn of dawn's at me pictures too. They're doing ads under my stuff. Yeah, it sure is. It's the first three on the top of your description. So that's exactly it. That is just awesome that we figured that out. Hi. we got 30 more minutes and then you can go run around, okay? You want to come up here? Can you jump up in my lap? Probably not. Where I'm at is kind of a tight fit in this corner. I can't get her to get up here, I don't She'd love to, I'm sure. You want to come up here? You want to come up here? No? Kinks come to mind. Mine does too. She follows me everywhere. Everywhere I go. Go and has a look when you have time. Oh, thank you, John. Oh, I saw part of it. I just haven't watched the rest of it. I need to watch the rest because I got I had to go run and do something. I started it, but it's on my TV. <laughs> Not down till 2022. Oh, no, that's not good. The heritage is it's off grid until you can hear level six units for told. Mm -hmm. What those days is. 2022. Boy, that worries me for Rocco. If anybody knows Rocco, his, his fiance and kids are in the uh, United States and they're trying to get him back. They can't get him back. I won't let him in. Mm. Locked down for four weeks. That's funny. Yeah. That's like she she guards me from the cat. She sits right here next to me and watches that doorway. Come here. Hey, come here. We got 33 minutes. Come here. Maybe they don't show up on a phone. Oh, maybe. Interesting. Yeah, I hope so, too. I'm just here watching ads. Are you really? Wow. That's amazing. Hey, Jay. <laughs> Did you just wake up? He probably can't hear me still. He's probably watching the ad to be nice. Are you here yet, Jay? Or are you still watching ads? <laughs> she is an American Bulldog. American Bulldog. She is not happy right now. Hey. Hey. Can you just sit down? I don't think we have set up our URL. That's right. There you go. One at a time, baby. One at a time. Hey, Shiner. Hey, Rob. So many ads. Really? How many ads? I don't want you guys to have to watch that many ads. I mean, it's cool, but it's not. I don't want you to have to watch 10 ads to come into the flipping live stream. Hey, how many did you have, Jay? Okay, crypto. Come here. Come here. Hey, come here. You're all right. She's just sitting there all stoic and whining. <laughs> so I keep going back to all these things that we talked about. We talked about custom URL, looking up the um, blocked words that you want blocked in your stream. We talked about descriptions and being sure that you have descriptions set up in your every single video, even if it's just a standard. Here's all my contact information to my Facebook group page, to my uh, Instagram, to Twitter, whatever other ones you have. Um, and we'll get into those a little bit more as I learn more. <laughs> I know, Ralph. <laughs> Only two, but they were political, really. Shocking. Shocking. It's just shocking. My phone is rang off the hook tonight, Jay. Seriously. I bet we re we've probably gotten in the past three days, 10, 15 phone calls. Please make sure you get out and vote. <laughs> yes, 
we know. We know there's an election, people. Everyone knows. <laughs> 15 minutes. I watched a 15 minute ad one coming in. No, <laughs> John. <laughs> Hope not. Don't do that. Just skip it. It's fine. I don't want anybody else to do that. Oh, is he better now? <laughs> Ace, I'm glad you're better, bud. When I do it like that, they don't show up. But when I put tags in the regular description, they show up. Isn't that fabulous? And it's some of those things people just don't know. And it's all a part of the search engine and how your channel gets found and, you know, and, and how you, you know, set up your, how easy is your channel to find? If you type in my homesteading, I'm there. Hey, Jeremy. Jeremy the Giant Team. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. In my head, it's funny. <laughs> this Jeremy's like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, Jeremy. Jeremy was a giant T Rex for for Halloween. It's a little bit arms. <laughs> Oh, good. Part nest, I'm glad. Lola? Lola, sorry, guys. Lola. 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 Hold on. Just goes to show you never stop learning. Right. Okay, let me go back to Amanda's question. How do you add mods when you go to a live stream or just to have people keep an eye on your channel? Um, to add mods, if you have a live stream, you can do it. You can actually, you can go to your video, and if somebody commented on your video, I think you can add them as a mod. Um, but it's better to go into the studio and either – Type their name out, and if it doesn't pop up, then copy paste their link into your moderator field. Just watched a Nutrisystem ad. Gosh, Nutrisystem still around? I think it's. Thank you, Ralph. <laughs> thank you. The support like this Trapper J and block compensation. <laughs> That's enough ads for a whole year, probably. <laughs> yeah, she's the, the ha and honey, you can message me and we can talk about it on Instagram. Yeah, you can click the dots in the chat and do it. But if she doesn't, she's talking about if she does it, how can she make sure she's got moderators just to watch stuff? Now, you can also... I can't remember what it's called in there, but you can actually make someone where they can do all of the stuff behind the scenes in your account. Like what I can do. Like if if I became, uh, I'll use Trapper J as an example because he's here, or John, either one. Trapper J, John, if they said, hey, I need, I'm a huge channel, I'm a gigantic channel, and I need a production assistant I'm going to add you as someone that can manipulate my account and the settings and do videos and load stuff and all this other stuff, but it's still not him. You can actually add somebody to do that. Uh, it's not the first section, but the second one, a manager or something like that. Yeah, she could just add in the first time she goes live. Absolutely. Yes. You should always be careful with who you mod. 
I don't have anybody as a manager and I wouldn't unless I was just gigantic and had to have a production assistant. There's no way. Yeah, you better trust them because they could delete your channel and everything. <laughs> they could delete it, kill it. They could do anything they wanted. I think I'm going to. Oh, I missed it. Oh, where'd it go? I was wondering myself. Did my first live the other night. Yeah, it's always, you got to have mods and your mods have to be people you trust. Don't just mod everybody. Make sure it's someone you know personally um, that you really trust and they understand how you want your live streams to go and that they know how to mod. If they don't know how to mod, it's not going to work. Just saying. There are good mods and there are bad mods. I'm back. J-Dub's back. I don't want StreamYard to have access anymore. Oh, really? Why? What happened? I've seen some people who their first mod is a troll. <laughs> you can't mod people that are trolls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he was. <laughs> it's work to be a mod a good one you have to watch and you have to share links and you have to you know do different things and I think people don't really understand it they don't understand what the access yeah they can access same stuff if they had a bad employee true um, Pete's a good guy. Yep. He's awesome. And that's part of it is you just, you kind of learn together. The other thing about mods too, is they can say anything they want to. Absolutely. So you have to trust that they're going to respect your live stream. Yeah. I didn't do too Betty ever. Trevor J. I did do stream yard. Because mods, they don't, their words don't go through the same criteria. So let's say, hi, boats. Okay. Yeah, tell me that, John. Yeah, a, a moderator um, can delete people from your channel. Like, they can block them. They can time them out. They can remove the, the comments that they make in your live stream. But also, they have access to your comment sections after the fact so let's they can go into your videos and remove comments block users um they can do the same thing they can do in a live stream into your account when your live stream isn't going um so let's say someone gets mad at you that's a moderator there's someone that's not a good heart and they decide that they want to try to limit your channel or hurt you in some way and they decide to go in and every single subscriber that makes a comment, they block them. <laughs> they go in and block them. Um, unless you're checking your blocked people, you're not going to know. And, it, you know, it's, it's, you know, they can go in and remove comments that people make on your videos. So you can't just mod everybody. You never know what someone, you've got to do people you trust, you know, that you know are not going to do anything weird to your channel, ever, ever, you know. The people I have as moderators on my channel I've known for a really long time, and I feel like I know them well enough that they would not do anything to hurt me purposefully. And if they ever did, I'd just be heartbroken. <laughs> I'd, just, I'd be like, no, <laughs> please, it'd be bad. I killed the air. Yes. And, and that's the one thing, you know, when you start getting trolls in that are just in there to disrupt your chat. Okay. And trolls can be friends. <laughs> they can be people that you see all the time, other places, and you bring them into your chat and disrupting a chat is disrupting a chat. You know, you've got a good chat going, everybody's kind of flowing. Then all of a sudden someone throws this wild thing in there about God knows what. And it totally disrupt, disrupts 
the whole flow of your life stream. And that's what they're trying to do, even if they're not trying to do it. Some people are just that way, but trolls do it on purpose. Don't scratch. Stay here. Don't scratch. Sit down. Sit. Hey, stay. Thank you. Yes, it can. And, and you know, people know the real trolls, the ones that come in and just start the names of their channel is immediately horrible. And they say some horrible, awful stuff that you can avoid. <laughs> I'm throwing a wild thing in here. <laughs> you can also hinder some of that by using that blocked word section. You know, because it's immediately, it's not going to be seen by your chat. It's only going to be seen by your moderators. So let's say a really horrible word, which I'm not going to say, but it's a horrible word. And if somebody comes in your chat and they say it, it's going to immediately trigger some people to be upset or be uncomfortable or anything else. It's just a bad word. You can put that in your blocked words and nobody's going to see it but your moderators. So if you get a troll that comes in and... No, no, backwards. no backwards. Nope. <laughs> so, you know, if, if you, yes, really think about who you mod. Be very, very careful. Yes, all profanity words, anything, anything remotely near a profanity word should be in there. Because if someone's saying something like that and they're a troll, at least your mods can review it. You know, anything that's remotely, even spelled wrong should be in your blocked words. And that's what I'm saying. Go look online and they have different places you can, it'll say, what are the words that should be blocked or blocked words YouTube? You know, of course I would, Amanda. Absolutely, baby. <laughs> Without a doubt. I would never hurt anybody's channel. And if I didn't feel like I knew that person well enough, I wouldn't ever offer to be a mod. And if they made me a mod, I would say no. I'd say, please unmod me. I don't know you well enough. You know, I have only known you for a little bit. You know, I don't want to risk it. Like they had a big YouTuber. She's not gigantic. She's in Canada and she's got like 60,000 subscribers. And she was talking in one of the, yeah, they can flag your channel too with inappropriate stuff. Absolutely. Um, she's in Canada and she was she'd been doing live streams with hundreds of people in there and started to realize that she needed to have some moderators. So she got into this Facebook group and said, Hey, how do you find moderators for live streams? And I'd never watched her channel before. I'd never seen it. I didn't even know because her name comes up, not her channel name in this Facebook group. And mine was the same way. I just watched it to see how everybody kind of talked and things they did and follow the, the streams. Fried deer steak, yeah. That sounds good. And, um, <laughs> and, uh, so I put in there that what I'm telling you guys now in a very short message. I said, please trust who you mod, that they know you and how you want to run your live stream and what your morals and values are and Make sure your moderators are people you know. Don't mod anybody. And then when I went into her live stream, she had 300 people in there and two mods. So that's that would be rough if she got some trolls coming in there and those people didn't know how to handle trolls. You know, she'd be it'd just be disrupting her all through the whole thing. Yes, please, Jeremy. <laughs> You have. You've known me for a little while, Kildare. Are you talking about me? Yeah. You know, it's and it's just one of those things where it can it can hurt you in the long run if you don't understand what that person wants or under yeah. Everybody knows how I am in here. They, the mods and the people and everybody. <laughs> it's nine forty three. See what I mean? T-shirt. Just that's 9:43 on the front. By the way, if anybody hasn't checked out Street Copper, I love his channel. Just saying, he has no hesitation with that metal. None. I can count on one hand who my mods are. I have, I think, 12. 
total. And most of the time, one or two of them, three of them are always here. So, you know, John and Jay and Deb and a couple of other people. I think Mo is one of the few that approved online. I would never hurt anybody's channel. I would back away from them before. I would just not do that. It's not even a thought. Got five and I trust them. Yep. <laughs> Make a piece of glass and mod it. See, Ricky, I, I just want to see how you do that. Because I'm an artist, so I'm totally curious about the whole process of that, that you've made, that sign. Yes, I check my, um, I check my, hi Mills, hey Andy. I check my blocked list and my mod list every time I get off a live. Every time. And any time I go into my settings and stuff, I double check to make sure the people that I put in there are in there. As far as blocked, there are certain people that I do have blocked from my channel that I would never want to come in ever. Um, troll problems that you see. <laughs> Rob, you're funny. Oh. Night, Ralph. Thanks for staying a little longer. Thanks for the super chat, bud. J-Dubs, read my last comment. J-Dubs, read her last comment. She wants to be a mod for her channel. I have no one blocked as of now since the channel was taken down. You have no one blocked. Really? You need to have people blocked. <laughs> have you not had trolls in there? I block trolls that I have in other channels. Like, if I go into another channel, and I'm modding, and there's, Amanda did ask if you would be a mod for her channel. Bother me not being a mod, but there's been a time or two I would have helped. Oh, I know, Kildare. There, and there's a lot of people like that. I'm just very, I'm telling you, I have a solid, and I haven't changed that. Hi, Miss Christina. Fishing with Christina. Yes, and I will I will say this in as nice a way as I can. If I ever suspect in any way, shape, or form that that person, David, and we're not going to talk about it, is coming back into live streams, I will block that person, even if I assume or have an itch that it's that person in any way, shape, or form, and report them. So that person needs to stay completely away report them. Did we catch that? <laughs> report them. Is there a default list somewhere? No, there's not. It just kind of happens. I needed to finish that thought. Okay, so I'm on in a lot of channels. And if I see some a name I take that and somebody comes into a channel and they're a troll and I know they're flat out a troll name. I will copy paste that and put it over into a file. And when I get done modding in the streams I'm in, I go to that little file and I make sure that I have those people in my block troll list so that they can uh, try to use. That's right. Dub. That's what I meant. I will report them. And not hesitate. Stay away. Stay away. I'm not joking. <laughs> anyway, don't make me get all red face and mad. So, <laughs> with that being said, and that now I've lost three people, wonder why. <laughs> um. Yes, sorry, completely distracted. I, I make a list uh, of trolls that I see that look to me like they're ones that I would see again. If they delete their channel or they change their name, it'll it will change it within my blocked list unless they delete their channel. If they delete their channel, I don't believe it'll stay in there because it's not a valid URL anymore. 
So then I have to start over. But it does help me in keeping people out of mine. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Absolutely do. These carrots see, smell like, and I can't see that picture. Blocked them forever. Yes. For sure. Yes, you are the Esquire. Hi, full-time dream. Are you guys on tonight, or did I miss you? Are you on tonight, full-time dream? Amanda, I am the one for you. I saw it, and I can't remember. Hi, Miss Kit. Because I'm leaving in 10 minutes. Did I mess you up? I mean, I, I don't mess. I try not to mess anybody up. But it happens. It's okay, Lola. Just so you guys know, in the stream yard, I cannot see the emojis. Not all of them, anyway. Shanette, I'm glad you're here. It's nice to see you, sweetie. Just get this ear daddy. You must be at the fence. You did. We got 10 minutes left, Jimmy. <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> How are you, Jimmy? Are you guys getting snow and stuff up there? Jimmy, yo. Oh, yeah. I understand, Miss Christina. If I'm not a mod, Amanda, then that hurts. thought you knew me better than that. <laughs> She'll make you a mod. Be silly. Being long hair. <laughs> there's a there's a picture of uh, Trapper Jay's in a bad mood. Is he? I think I'll make me a shirt. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What's your shirt gonna be? <coughs> tell us. What shirt? No, don't tell us if it's scary. Don't type it in. Tell me later. <laughs> tell me later. Snowed a couple of days and gone already. Yeah, J Dubs. <laughs> really glad I checked out your YouTube info. I'm glad I made it to this live. Sorry, I was late. I was combing soybeans until dark. Okay, yeah. Totally understand. He's on every week. Long hair, don't care. <laughs> worst mod of 2020. <laughs> Who's the worst mod of 2020? You? Yep. Thank you, Jimmy. I never did get my Trapper J mod shirt and you took it off. I'm going to get that. I just didn't have the money at the time. And then you took it off. So I can't get it now. I have to make it myself. John, <laughs> hey, Fishing with Christina, Dub, J, are you guys watching? Pretty sure worse than anything in 2020 is a bit of accomplishment. Yes. Yeah, and I think that's nice to do. I think it's nice to ask people if they want to do it, and I wouldn't have so many that, that it overwhelms your, your live stream. Five minute ad. Sorry, I was gone a bit. Two people I don't write more for. John, you're watching the chat, right? <laughs> Jimmy is Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast here and here. Now, I have to say, and that's not, you know, like I shared his live stream out in the last hour and I knew it you know I'm not anybody that matters to a channel that large but it was fun they're fun guys they're fun to watch <laughs> my trolls will drop yeah yeah well 
See, the one thing about it is I, I don't give anybody a reason to do weird stuff to me. I mean, I used to, I, I wish I could still talk to my friend that I knew way back in the day. He was the best troll. He was good at it. That was way back when, like 20 years ago. And he ended up, he was like 19 at the time. And he ended up working for the Canadian military. So I never got to see him again. And then after a while, he would pop in every once in a while and send me a Facebook message and go, I'm still alive. I can't have any profiles or anything like that. But wanted you to know that, you know, I'm happy. Everybody's happy and the kids are doing good and blah, 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 blah. And then he'd delete his profile. <laughs> but I haven't heard from him in forever. Well, I know not to put milk and cookies emoji. He gone. <laughs> Oh, did somebody put milk and cookie emoji? It's because it's a troll. More than likely. Is he gone? That is my husband and the dog. He's keeping her. Um, he needed to get up and walk around probably. And he's keeping her happy in there. <laughs> and they're playing a little bit with the cat. Okay. I'm sure that was a troll, guys. Nobody. That was. That was a troll. And I don't care. They can go away. Who comes into a live chat as Father Christmas and puts cookies and milk up there? Has anybody ever seen that one before? <laughs> if you give me his name, I can get a message to him. Yes. But that's okay, because you, did you notice that when you talk to him, they go away, Jay? <laughs> Unless they're just really, really bad, they go away. They're like, oh, this is no fun. He's not going to block us. <laughs> it's no fun for them. <laughs> nope, never seen that. Me either. When you get trolls is when you know you made it. <laughs> I'm not quite there. I don't think I'm there. And I'm okay, you know, if people are nice. But if they're mean trolls and, or if there's somebody that we aren't sure about, and right now I'm very leery. Extremely leery of people. Certain buddy of mine, I always leave milk and cookies with Santa emoji. Who are you talking about? Backwards barbarian? Oh, in the Canadian? Oh. Holy cow. Yes, I will do that. And you can see if you can find him. Oh, that'd be so great. I'd be so excited about that. I'm going to send you his name. It won't get him in trouble, right? Gosh, how old is he now? Holy cow. How old was I? Yes, I will do that because that won't hurt my feelings. I would love to try to get in touch with him and see how he's doing. Why are you hacking? What are you hacking at, you old dog? I got one that's always giving you a thumbs down, but I thanked him personally. <laughs> okay. Nice. No, yeah, that that's not it at all. As far as I know he is, I'm not sure. I think he's still. <laughs> yeah, bouncer slap is somebody good to probably have on your side. <laughs> I would imagine it's probably a good one. Production assistant. So I recently partnered with someone in addition to having, in addition to having them, the account password, can you allow someone else? Yes. Um, if they have a YouTube channel, you can make them a, it's the, the first thing, I think it's a manager. It's like the moderators are first and then the next one, it's the next level, like approved manager or approved. Mm, if you look in the, in the, oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Needs to be careful with that. <laughs> He's probably more entertaining, Doug. <laughs> oh. Yes. You, oh, I did answer that, Cody. Hey, Mastermind. How are you? Yeah, if he's still serving. 
We'll find out. I'm not going to say his name out loud, though. I'll send it to you. I have to spit my beer out. <laughs> I get worried when my one down don't make the show. There's always at least one. At least one. Always. I don't know what I have right now. I can't see that. I know we have 33 people. Okay, see you later. Oh, it's seven. All right. Hey, like a bully homestead. Okay, see you later, David. <laughs> we may hang out for a few more minutes. Thank you to all my subscribers and my viewers, especially that special person that keeps on putting thumbs down on my video. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm surprised I don't get more as many people as I mod for, but I don't think they all know it's me unless people are talking about it. Or someone tells them that it's me. 65 and 2. Okay. Hi, Southern Blessed Homestead. It's a Mac and Patty. Where are you guys? Are you home? Did you get home? Yep, 36 people. <laughs> I'd like to hear all three of you in a room. Referring to each other. <laughs> hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. <laughs> See, I call honey and stuff with J and J, John. I call Trapper J, J. And I call J Dub, Dub, or Long Hair. So I'd be fine. Oh, good. I'm glad you made it home. Okay. See you later, killed there. Hi, Brandon. Man, we got 34 people in here. I hate to go. We should raid somebody if I have to go. Hold on one second. One moment, please. It's okay. Yeah, I want to look and see. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to look and see what different communities have people tonight. I know Catfish Weekly's up for the fishing people. Um, he's on every Mondays at 7. DMV is actually live catfishing on the Potomac. DMV Whisker King. Let's see who else is out there. Daddy Duck. Let's see who else. Bear with me, please. Okay, I'm going to say, bear with me one moment, I need this, oh, they're muted, oh, and after five is over there too, okay, how about, uh, there's a couple of different things that I do, um, how big is that space behind you on the wall, oh, I don't know, I'm in a corner, baby, don't you make me anything, don't you worry about that, don't you do that, you stop it. When I get really gigantic and big, I'll pay you for one, okay? I'm not big. I'm just a little channel. Um, Seriously, Ricky. Mo is live Monday night and gets off early. <laughs> I wasn't, well, I wasn't going to, but my husband needs stuff. If you guys want to hold on for a minute, you, but Daddy Duck is live, and I try to go two hours. Um. Heading over to Paragon. Okay. Cool. I'll see you guys later in Be Heritage Farms. And I need to I need to do one thing. Okay, before MB Heritage Farms is leaving, but they are having a barbecue contest, and I forgot all about that. I wish somebody I wish they would have reminded me. Darn it. Um, they are having a video barbecue contest. I'm gonna put the link in this description of this live stream so that you guys can see where it's at, but it's supposed to be, he's, he's an artist too, and he's making this wood burn prize plaque that's amazing, um, so it would be really fun, full time dream, are you guys going live tonight? God, Booster started to attack a giant bull ant, those things really, oh no, 
but I'm going to put that link in the bottom of here because I meant to talk about them earlier. And yes, because it's going to be fun. So they're really big on barbecuing. It has to be outside. I knew Kitchen World. We're getting ready to go. But here's what here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, let's go raid Daddy Duck. Just do a mo raid. And because I really need to go take care of my husband. And I'll stay. I'll do another live later on in the week. And we'll stay longer. How about that? We'll just do it for fun. Um, I really appreciate everybody that came in and uh, listen to my babbling. <laughs> Let me put this. This is Daddy Duck's link. Hold on. And After Five is live over there. So they're really, they're very informative. And I, and I really like both of them. So they're really informative when they have conversations about duck hunting and other types of hunting. Thank you, Ionic. Oh, you just, oh, just on, we're leaving. <laughs> if you're a, hey, Kane. <laughs> If you're a fishing person, there's several fishing channels that are live right now. Um, hunting, that's the only one I saw. There are a couple of homesteading channels that are going live right now. So if you're in, into um, going over to those, just tell them I sent you. Paragon's going live. Okay, see you later, Jay. Hi, Kane. I'm going to go, guys. Go say hi to Daddy Duck at least for a second. Thank you, Ionic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> Night, McCormick's. Bye, Miss Amanda. I'm hitting in broadcast. I promise it's going right now. <laughs> Bye, guys. And broadcast.